Hi everyone, welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel, it's Becky here. So these are the minimal amount of tools that I need to sketch everything that I want in my life. So for filming, I like to set up a gooseneck tripod by attaching it to the edge of the table like that. So today my model is going to be a pack of uh, goldfish crackers in vanilla cupcake flavor. So this is going to be a shorter and more entertaining video for you because I'm trying to film myself sketching uh, the things more rather than just uh, one camera focusing on the sketchbook page all the time only. So first of all, I'd like to take a reference photo for you uh, to put in the corner of this video a little later and then attaching my phone to the gooseneck tripod. And now I'm grabbing my sailor's few day fountain pen and getting ready to draw the contour outline of the package. So this package is a rectangular prism shape with a flattened edge there on top, as you can see, a very typical paper bag shape. And now I'm just adding a bit of this um, extra top over here with interesting little wavy lines bit of overlapping of layers of the package. Yeah, so that's the top. Now moving on to the side to draw this um, slightly distorted uh, rectangle of the table of nutrition chart. And sipping my coffee a little bit as I go. And all of these lines and letters are on this uh, table of nutrition, they're all curving, following the uh, vertical and horizontal bends of the package here on the left. Just using little squiggles to suggest the, uh, the little words. Okay, so that's the side. Now I'm starting to draw this edge. It's shining a little bit with a bit of pressed line there on the left and on the right. And now I'm going to have fun drawing all of these graphics and words um, on the front of the package, starting with that uh, round uh, banner. And this is the, uh, the Graham style goldfish crackers. So just kind of drawing the, uh, the swirl surrounding the word and then the subtitle, which is vanilla cupcake flavor and the little cupcake there, cute little graphic. Okay, so in the middle of the swirl is this uh, goldfish in sunglasses and another little swirl and the name of the product, goldfish. And then writing down, just doodling these smaller words on the banner there. Uh, more cute little actual fish crackers. And that's very much it. So lastly, I'm gonna accentuate around the bottom edge um, and also in certain areas, that's it for the drawing part. All right, so now I wanna take out some of these crackers uh, to draw them beside the package. So the package, it looks more dynamic. Okay, so I'm gonna try a piece or two just to uh, taste the flavor. It's my first time buying this along with coffee. It's a little sweet, so it's good with uh, coffee. Okay, so now I'm ready to draw these cute little uh, four fishy crackers in. This one's going to be up here. Each one with a little smile swimming out from the package, which looks much more lightly than just drawing the package itself only. Okay, this one is swimming to the right. As you can see, I'm adding a vague little curve on the belly of each little fishy to, to uh, suggest the uh, thickness of each cracker. And finally, accentuate on the bottom curve of each outline so they really pop from the paper. And just keep munching on these uh, little fishy crackers. Now I'm ready to paint watercolors. So that's my Mongjo watercolor palette and Holbein brand water brushes. Starting to paint the brightest colors first. Um, so this is diluted yellow ochre for the little fishies. And don't forget the ones on the package. So yellow is uh, usually the first color that I like to start with when painting anything. Yeah, just finishing that little yellow swirl over there and then sip my coffee and blending on a little bit of orange on that swirl there. Okay, so now I just clean my brush on the towel, 
starting with the next color, just starting to wet this large swirl with a little clear water and putting on this uh, diluted permanent red so I get a really nice cherry blossom shade of pink. Same for this banner here. Yeah, it's a really happy color that um, reminds me of spring. Really looking forward to see the cherry blossoms bloom again in the next couple of months. And then wait for like 30 seconds for the first layer of pink to dry off a little bit, adding a slight bit more intensity or contrast uh, for a certain part of the, uh, the swirl here using the same color, permanent red, uh, but more concentrated this time. So it's blending with that lighter value on the bottom layer. And at the same time, being aware of not overpainting it, leaving some bright uh, tint of pink untouched from the first layer to show the shine of the swirl and the banner area. Now it's time to have fun painting this uh, bright sunny day blue, which is cerulean blue diluted. It's quite a lot of water, so it's very transparent. And again, this blue sky is reminding me of the beautiful spring and summer days. So cool spring and summer breeze as well as the sun shining over us. I think we're all looking forward to the spring and summer. Yeah, so just putting this uh, pretty diluted cerulean blue for the top of the package since it's plastic. Um, it needs to shine a little bit. So we're just starting with this bright tint of cerulean blue. And now I'm ready to shade. So the darkest side is on the left. As you can see, the window is on the right. So the left side of the package is clearly shaded. Um, and same for the bottom of the front of the package. In between the swirls, I see a darker shade of cerulean blue. Yet yeah, there's the same color, just containing less water compared to that previous layer. Again, preserving some parts untouched of the light tint of cerulean blue, so the package it really shines. So as I'm painting this blue package, I'm also connecting with the beautiful blue skies of the spring and summer and autumn. And yeah, really kind of remembering those beautiful sunny days in the past and looking forward to the future days. Now I'm shading these actual fishy crackers with uh, orange just on the bottom half of each fishy. Now it's time to paint the shadow for both the package and the fishies. So this is a mix of a cobalt blue and a bit of royal purple. So before adding the dark shadows for these fishies, I'm actually putting on a bit of reflective yellow, which is leftover yellow ochre under each of these fishies. Because everything in the world that has a color are always reflecting its original colors onto its own shadows and also shade uh, the white table of nutrition chart a little bit with leftover bluish gray and intensify the left side. It's actually denting in a little bit so getting less daylight. That's why the left side is even darker. And then grabbing some pure cerulean blue to add some stronger values for the front of the package using pretty thin brush marks, again preserving those bright tints of blue for the shine of the plastic package. And I want to add a stronger value of pink, permanent red, a little less diluted with water for the swirls. And same for the letters. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to stop recording and take my phone off from the gooseneck tripod. Here's a look of my finished sketch. All right, so thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you again very soon next time in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.